All right, today doing a video. Um, I dug deep in the closet to dig these two out, and actually, um, for the longest, I couldn't find this one. Um, but I was looking around for something else, and I found it. And I've had a couple of people ask me about it um, recently or over time, and um, since we couldn't find it, uh, we couldn't answer the questions they asked about, and. Um, Anyway, this is a rare ECI linear amplifier. Um, it was made for 6 or 10 meters only. Well, actually the 11 meter business band back in the um, probably the early 60s. And even though it's got five tubes in it, it is only a one tube amplifier. The um, 6146 tube there is the only tube that does amplification the rest of the tubes do something else that um there is marked I don't know if you can see it but it's a 12 AU7 that's the keying tube it is a tube keying circuit and this is a tetrode amplifier I call that like the turbo boost and those three tubes there are voltage regulator tubes for the screen or basically for the turbo you know I like to call it and somebody was asking what tubes are these and I told him I knew that they were voltage regular tubes but I didn't know exactly which ones they were but it's marked there on the chassis and that looks factory or maybe not but anyway it's marked um, OC2 is the top one and then OB2 are the bottom two so two OB tubes and one OC tube they're in series so it doesn't make um, a difference which order they are in and they're around 80 or 90 volt voltage regulators per tube somewhere around there um, you know not exact but so you know all three of them together at around 80 90 volts it's going to give about uh, 250 volts give or take a regulated voltage for the screen or the turbo of that tube there um, it's a basic amplifier um, for one tube, very well built. It's got a um, plate transformer only there. The black one there is actually just a swinging choke for the power supply. In the early days, uh, they sometimes use swinging chokes in the high voltage. They actually are, give you um, better regulation than capacitors and they're easier on the transformer because they use more of the transformer uh, more of the wave for the swinging choke so they're actually easier on it it's less um, total peak amperage drawn when you use a uh, swinging choke versus a capacitor which uses high uh, current at the peaks of your um, um, waves wave signal if that makes sense and this here um, gold tone uh, transformer is the um, low voltage for the filament and the relay well relay is probably high voltage but light up the filament and also um, the negative bias because that turbo booster um, tetro needs bias to uh, calm it back down with that turbo on it and actually on the front you got your normal uh, tune and load on the output and you got grid driver and that's uh, adjusting the bias which is going to be your dead key or drive for that um, turbo. And if you turn that up, this thing a dead key 30 or 40 watts, but you're killing it. Um, it's actually made to dead key 4 or 5 watts, I'm assuming, you know, with the 1 2, but it'll swing to about uh, 35 40 average and uh, it'll do about 60 70 peak with this big bad uh, Tram D201A uh, behind it. and. Oh, by the way, quickly on this one. This one has been modified, not by me. It's been recapped and all. It's not, you know, the cleanest one you've ever seen, but it's um, been recapped and it works real good. And somebody put in a 40 channel, and actually it's got uppers and lowers on it, so it's more than 40, but 40 channel readout uh, PLL on it. And right quick, because my battery's going dead, um... We're just going to do the tram on the 20 watt scale. Dead key and under 4. Audio. Audio. Talking about 8. It's probably doing about 25 or so peak on this tram. But 
Hello, hello, hello. That's peak watts. Just the tram. And we're going to put it on the 200 watt scale and turn the amp on. And this is average. So it's dead key in two or three. So the dead key's lower. And audio, audio. And I'm talking about 30, 30, 35 average. <whistles> Whistling to about 45 on average. And last, we're going to do peak right quick for the battery die audio and that's talking we're doing 60 peak <whistles> whistling to about the same thing so anyway that's going to be it on this um courier eci linear amplifier with the tram d201a frankenstein i call it driving it all right that's it for this one bye